Hey guys, it's the test lead, and today we're talking about Appium interview questions. I'll give you a question and an appropriate answer. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for more software testing content. We're starting with basic questions, then moving towards more advanced topics, and finally, troubleshooting and best practices. What is Appium and how does it differ from other mobile automation tools? Appium is an open source tool for automating mobile applications on Android and iOS platforms. It differs by allowing testing of native, hybrid, and mobile web applications using a single API. Explain the architecture of Appium. Appium follows a client-server architecture. The Appium server acts as a middleware that translates Selenium WebDriver commands into UI Automation iOS or UI Automator Android commands. How does Appium support cross-platform mobile testing? Appium provides a unified API for both Android and iOS platforms. Test scripts written in Appium can be reused across different platforms with minimal modifications. What are the prerequisites for setting up Appium for Android and iOS automation? For Android, you need Android SDK, Appium server, and appropriate drivers. For iOS, you need Xcode, Appium server, and WebDriver agent. Now let's talk about some automation concepts. How does Appium handle gestures such as swipe, tap, and scroll? Appium supports gestures through the touch action class. For example, press move to and release methods are used for swipe gestures. Touch action has actually been deprecated and normally points to input device and action sequence are now used. What is the difference between native, hybrid, and mobile web applications? And how does Appium support each type? Native applications are built for a specific platform. Hybrid apps combine native and web components. Native apps are built for a specific platform. Hybrid apps combine native and web components and mobile web apps are accessed through mobile browsers. Appium supports automation for all three types. Explain the concepts of desired capabilities in Appium. Desired capabilities are key value pairs that define the characteristics of a mobile session. They include information such as platform name, platform version, device name, app, and app package. How does Appium identify elements on a mobile application? Appium uses locators, similar to Selenium, such as ID, name, class, XPath, and accessibility identifiers to identify elements on both Android and iOS apps. Appium Advanced Concepts. Describe the process of handling alerts and pop-ups in Appium. Alerts and pop-ups are handled using the alert interface. Methods such as accept, 
dismiss, and get text are used to interact with alerts. Quick break. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget, leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I have books, courses, and a newsletter to help you on your journey. Now, back to the video. How can you run Appium Test in parallel on multiple devices? Appium supports parallel execution by running multiple Appium server instances on different ports. Test scripts can then target specific devices or emulators. Explain the concept of Appium Inspector and how it aids in test script development. Appium Inspector is a graphical user interface tool that helps in inspecting and identifying elements on a mobile application. It assists in generating Appium scripts. What is the role of Appium's page object model in mobile automation? The POM in Appium organizes code into modular pages, making it more maintainable. Each page corresponds to a specific screen or a section on the mobile application. Troubleshooting and best practices. How do you handle dynamic elements that have changing locators in Appium? Use dynamic XPath or locators with partial attributes. You can also employ techniques like finding elements based on nearby static elements. What are common challenges and mobile automation using Appium and how can they be addressed? Challenges include flakiness due to network conditions, device variations, and OS updates. Strategies including using weights, handling timeouts, and regularly updating test scripts. How can you optimize Appium tests for better performance and reliability. You can optimize tests by minimizing the use of sleep, using dynamic weights, paralyzing test execution, and maintaining a clean test environment. If you have any questions that I might have missed, leave them below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also leave them below in the comment section and I'll get to them. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.